Yep. Workers at the plant staging a sit down strike for a second day. Tonight we're hearing from General Motors as well as the United Auto Workers Union. 7 Action supporter Jim Kurtzer is live outside GM headquarters in downtown Detroit. Jim. Everything that happened up inside that GM plant in Oshawa was spontaneous, but it was set off by what happened here at the GM headquarters yesterday afternoon. And I can tell you, the moves up in Canada, their campaign, the TV spot you just saw, all getting noticed here in the States, big time. But they have picked a fight with all of Canada. That is Canadian Union President Jerry Dias yesterday in Windsor. His 2,500 workers back in the GM Oshawa plant were waiting for his word. They knew this was his second meeting yesterday at GM headquarters to try to save the plant. His first meeting here was in December. They did this before Christmas and now they're doing it again and, and really, you know what I mean? Like you're stringing this along to tell us like nothing. After the bad news spread, the workers inside the Oshawa plant stopped work at 4.30 in the afternoon and it shut down the assembly line for the night. Workers again this morning stopped work for some two more hours. It's important for us to keep fighting and make sure these jobs stay in Oshawa. GM has been building cars and trucks in Oshawa 109 years. Many of these workers' families have generations with the company. GM in a statement today said, we understand our union's frustration, but need to now work together to deliver supports, transition, and training for our employees for new opportunities over the coming year. The United Auto Workers Union tells 7 Action News, GM will negotiate the future in contract talks with them this year. They're still pushing back on closings. They have plans for the Detroit Auto Show, and the UAW is in solidarity with Unifor, the Canadian Union. Some of the younger workers in Oshawa stand to lose the most. They've got a mortgage and they've got kids that are, you know, at, at that age. It's Armageddon to them. Now the timing of all of this, the Detroit Auto Show starts this weekend right down the street at Cobo Center. The World Press will be here next week. Both unions plan to put the heat on General Motors. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Workers have to keep fighting to try and save their jobs, right, Jim? Thank you.